Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's Hazel from the It's Light Woman's Homestead. And today, and today I'm coming with another video. I'm right in front of my greenhouse and I just want to give you a little tour of what is happening um, with my pots in front of the greenhouse because I do plant things in pots and I figure out I will just show you what's happening with inside the pots and I just want to give you like a little tour what is happening what came back what did not I didn't have much luck in those uh, year and a half that I've been here with anything coming back but this year it's a good year and I see lots of perennial um, flowers inside my pot have self-seeded and even things that I never thought would self-seed have self-seed <laughs> So I'm really happy about that. So let me give you guys a little tour of what is happening in my pots out here in front of the greenhouse. So enjoy. Let's get to the video. Today it's windy, sunny, and beautiful. And before I get all wind away by all this wind, let me give you a tour. Because um, it's just gorgeous out here. And a lot of things are growing inside the pots. Now, these pots, I haven't done anything to them as yet. Because um, we're in like the second week of April. And I figure that I'll just leave them until the 1st of May. Then whatever is in those pots that are perennials, they're going to come out. And then um, I can do some transplanting and then I can put new um, plants or seedlings in there. But I just really want to see what came up from last year. And as I can see, I see lots of things have come up. Like I see my sage, which I'm so happy about. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Has come up. I see some flowers um, has come up. Even some things I didn't plant, I see that, um, that they come up. And I see a lot of things that are in the pot that has just come back. And I'm so happy because I'm, this year it seemed like a very successful year for me uh, with uh, perennial plants. So I'm very happy. Usually in, uh, in previous years, I like they don't come back. They just die. Maybe the winter was too hard for them. But what I did this year, the trick that I did this year was I put, once the season was over and I cut the top of the plants off some of them that was very big the smaller ones i just left them and then i put wood chips all over the pots and i'll show you guys so what i did was i just covered the pots with wood chips and most of them is kind of decomposed you know as you can see i just put a layer of wood chips at the top of all those pots and I think that is one of the reasons why a lot of these uh, perennial plants, they come back. As you can see, like, I have like a bunch of them come back. I even have like um, certain, have some lettuces. I have some um, cher cherville. And I even have some flowers like came up. So, yeah, look, I have, I have these perennial flowers that are coming up here. Um, look at this this is coriander so in this I just had like two coriander plant and I guess they self seeded oh they smell so good so coriander is here then to my great amazement look at that my sage and this is a new variety of sage that I grow last year and usually I, I never ever had a sage come back. And even my thyme has come back for the first time this year. So I'm really pleased about that. And then I have this plant here, which is a flowers. And when I bought it, it said it was an annual, but it came back this year, which is very, very good. And there's many plants in there, as you can see. So I'll be taking some off and planting it other places. What else do I have here? Um, I have another little plant coming out here. Um, I'm not sure what plant it is as yet, but I'm just going to give it a chance. I think it looks like stinging nettle. I'm not sure, but I think it's stinging nettle. And then I have my plantain. 
Now, um, I threw some plantain seeds in one of those pots and I see one coming out here. So I'm so happy about that because I had to travel far and wide in the wilderness to find plantain to harvest. And in here, like there's lettuces growing in here. Um, this, is, this is not, this is like a weed. Yeah. But this is an amazing sight for me because these seeds have self um, they have germinated here and I didn't plant them in this pot and seeds has uh, flown here and now they're growing there and this is my stingy nettle I love me my stingy nettle so I'm gonna have to take all these out and plant it in the big market garden but I want to show you where the stingy nettle was so this was my pot of stingy nettles right here and so this pot seeds from there flew all the way over there and started a new colony over there so I'm gonna transplant them all from this spot and then I have some other little plants growing all in here so yeah I'm gonna watch them I think I have some thyme growing back here yep so yeah and I didn't even plant thyme in this uh, container either I don't know what happened but it's there and I have another um, plant that is growing in here and I think this one is a flower it's a perennial flower and some seeds must have flown over here and it came here so I'm gonna take that out and put it in my garden and there we have some more stingy nettle look at this lots of stingy nettle growing in here that has to be transplanted then I have some chives here which voluntarily came up as you can see and I have another flowers here growing in here. I don't even know what flowers it is. And then this is some volunteer um, chives. And I have my thyme growing back in here. So this is this is like amazing stuff, guys. Amazing. Yeah, my thyme. If you look, it has started. Let me see. If I can show you. This is the first year I'm able to see the little leaves there. Yeah, I'm so happy. So that's the first day I have some thyme growing and over here is the same thing I have all these flowers again growing in this pot which I did not plant let me see if I can bring it out here so you guys can see and all this I know it's flowers because I have them in my garden on the other side and I don't know this the wind blew them all the way over here this is another flowers oh my goodness you know something guys I think this flower I had it inside and I thought it was like a gun or something and I threw it I put it in here and I forgot about it look it's coming up well what do you know and all these flowers are gonna be moved from here and I have some more it just seemed like this flower seed or something has just flown everywhere and now it's growing in all the pots but it's okay I'll remove it and plant it in my garden so this is what's happening here in the front of the greenhouse and um, the pots are going to be like this and once it gets a little warmer in about a week and a half I'm going to have some compost that I bought here some sheep manure actually just a few bags because I'm being very cautious about the this compost because I know this I'm going to show you guys something what happened this compost is growing uh, I can't even see the, the thing I want oh yeah let's get into the greenhouse and I'll show you what it's growing so this compost I have one pot here which has my calendula and I have this compost in there and I want to show you guys the kind of plant that it's growing you see this plant in there this is what is coming up in the compost so this is not calendula this is just weeds this is calendula so I gotta plug this out but that's why I gotta be careful with the compost because as you can see, I don't know what weed is this. And I don't don't want it there. But this is coming up all over the pots that I use any of those composts inside. So you want to get rid of that. And if you look here, you can see a couple of them is also growing here. So that definitely I have to pluck them out. Because I don't know what seed is that. And I don't want it all over my garden. So yes guys so basically this is what's happening 
in front of the greenhouse for now with all the pots and this is a little tour of my pots in front of the greenhouse and those stuff that is growing up those uh, perennials that has come up in my pots and what I usually do is I leave them to come up. I think like I mentioned earlier I leave them to come up then I transplant them then I'm gonna add my compost and then I'll go from there so this is basically what is happening out there so guys this is my video for today I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in the next one so remember you all you're beautiful it doesn't matter what anybody think you know beauty is in the eyes of the beholder but on the inside it's very important to tell yourself that you're beautiful and to give yourself like a positive outlook you know what i mean and don't be thinking negative thoughts on the inside because if you're thinking negative you're not gonna think you're beautiful so guys thanks for watching ciao ciao